Welcome to this shortwave radio channel and once again we're going to check out different frequency ranges. Some of them will be the same but we'll do it with different radios because some of you have the radios and might actually enjoy seeing how I tune and you know the functionalities, the buttons I press to go around the bands on this radio. So we're going to tune from um, basically from about 1711 to 2000 kilohertz but in reality it's like 1600 to 2000 kilohertz uh, what's in there basically so the medium wave band of course in North America goes to 1710 so that's why I'm starting a little higher than that in Europe it actually ends lower around 1610 1620 around something like that and what that means is that what is there? Is there anything else in there? In Europe, once again, 1600 to, to, to 1800 kilohertz, there is a lot of marine weather stations. Uh, Italy, Switzerland, Sweden, um, what do we have? Uh, we have Greenland, we have Iceland, we have France, we have so many different countries, uh, Greece. We have so many different countries that have actually uh, marine weather broadcasts on that frequency range uh, that there's a lot to listen to. And I've actually monitored a lot of that on the Kiwi SDRs in Europe. Now, in North America, the AM band goes up to 1710 because it is now the expanded AM band. But what's above that? So 1700 to 1800 possible marine broadcasts. It, there's really nothing much to monitor in North America in general. It really starts at 1800 kilohertz with the 160 meters amateur radio band. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put myself in sideband and upper sideband so that we can actually tune around on the frequency range and we're going to check it out. So upper sideband until we reach the 160 meter band. I don't expect to hear anything but here. But in Europe, you guys might actually stumble across marine weather broadcasts from different countries. And here we are, 1800 kilohertz. So the first part of 1800, 160 meter band is amateur radio, Morse code, and digital modes. You can stay in upper sideband if you want. As So this, for example, is not there. This is some spurious signals. So that's FT8. Now we're at 1850. What we're going to do, we're going to switch to lower sideband. Because that's where and that's how 160 meters is in general. Lower sideband. So here we go. Now we need to fine tune to actually get.
course, I forgot to mention that we're tuning around with the Grundig Ethan Executive Satellite SSB, Grundig Edition. We're on 1940 kilohertz lower sideband, 160 meter band. Reach 2000 kilohertz. Tuning around with the uh, Ethan satellite, uh, executive satellite SSB. And we're going to, of course, have more videos coming up. Hope that you're enjoying the videos and that you're following with us using your own radio if you have the same radio. Uh, if you don't hear anything, don't worry. Try regularly. You never know what you can get. And sometimes, well, it's possible that you might need to actually get far away from, you know, the city or from at least the buildings and the houses so that the noise, the noise level goes down. But there's definitely stuff to listen to, as you've seen here. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.